Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna be doing something that I've been wanting to do since Halloween and two of my followers have already beaten me to it and that is Christmas freckles. Just like I did with Halloween, I did two versions of Halloween freckles. The first one was inspired by Lou Von Bright and you could say this has kind of become a thing now. So yes, I will be doing it for every major holiday, maybe? I don't know, I don't know. I didn't do it for Hanukkah because I'm not Jewish. Well, to be fair, I'm not religious, but I really like Christmas. So anyway, let's get to it because I've got a Christmas party to go to, so I thought it would be fitting for me to do this makeup today. And before anyone asks, yes, these are my natural curls. My hair is very bouncy. For a while, it wasn't curling up this well because it was really, really damaged. And I was also experimenting with different leave-in products. Some of them were too heavy on my hair, so my curls wouldn't curl up the same way. It's a whole thing. If you have curly hair, I'm sure you understand. I'm kind of really digging my hair today. I've got this little pom-pom thing going on up here, but I think I will be wearing a wig for the final look. We'll see. For now, I'm gonna keep it as is and get on with it. But before I start, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So for my base color, I'm gonna start off with Sugar Pills Acid Berry, which is this lime green. And I've primed my lids with concealer and I've powdered it down. I'm gonna be taking this color on a big ol' fluffy brush because I want to apply it kind of everywhere. This one is the Eye Contour Brush by Moda. I'm keeping it concentrated close to my outer corner. I'm blending it towards my cheekbone. I'm gonna get a slightly smaller fluffy brush. This one is the SLS Miss Glam L34 Blend Beauty. I'm just taking it on a slightly smaller fluffy brush so that I can concentrate it closer to the lash line. And when you're doing a look like this where the eyeshadow comes down to the cheek area, make sure this whole area is powdered down because you don't want the eyeshadow clinging to any kind of wet foundation spots. I'm also going to take this color, well, my hair's in the way. <laughs> I'm also gonna take this color and apply it right here in the inner corner kind of where my eyebrow starts, and I'm gonna connect that to the rest. Kinda curious to see. This is looking a little dark. I'm gonna try to use the Creepy Cute palette, the color Take a Hint, which is this bright lime green, and I'm gonna apply that right on the corner. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna take that and blend it out. This one is super pigmented, so you have to use very little on your brush. I'm going to pack some more on my lid. Yeah, the green from the Creepy Cute palette I feel is more opaque, whereas the Sugar Pill one is more sheer. Not that it's not pigmented, it just, the finish is different. As you can see, like here, you can't see my skin through the green, but here you can. It just kind of has a different finish to it. So I'm packing Take a Hint on my lid because of that. Once that's done, I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Ablaze Face Palette. I'm gonna be using this color right here. I'm choosing to go with a corally orange blush because I think that'll go really well with green. So I'm just gonna apply that kind of where the green ends and blend that down onto my cheek. I want this look to be very rosy as well, not just green. We want it to look cute and green cheeks aren't necessarily the cutest thing ever. So, <laughs> but I'm going little by little and blending the colors together. You can also use the green fluffy brush to kind of help with that blend. I'm not sure how rosy I wanna go with this. I am gonna bring it onto the apples of my cheeks probably gonna go pretty rosy. I know that I'm gonna go really rosy on my nose. I'm gonna kind of contour my nose with this. So I'm applying it to the sides of my nose and under my nose. Oh, I'm also applying it to my nostril area. And then I'm gonna do a little button nose effect. So I'm gonna kind of draw a line right there and leave the tip blank. I feel like now that I have the blush down, I kinda wanna add more green or rather make the green area a little bit bigger. This is looking very reminiscent of my watermelon makeup look that I did a while ago, but this is looking cute. I'm also gonna take that color onto my chin. So as I said, I wanna look rosy. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a little bit more of the green from the Creepy Cute palette 
and just extend the green a little bit more onto the cheeks. I'm also going to take a little bit ah, <laughs> of acid berry. This is cute. Ooh, I just realized something. This is going to be the perfect opportunity to use my Black Moon Cosmetics Moonlighter in the color Glowworm because it is a green highlighter and I haven't gotten the chance to use it yet. So I'm going to take that on a fluffy brush just very lightly. Don't want to go crazy with a highlighter. I just want to add a little bit of shine. That's pretty. That is quite pretty. I think I'm also going to take that onto my brow bone. And I'm applying it more heavily on the brow bone. Ugh. Here, in the way. Should I use that on my inner corner? I think so. Yeah, there we go. Inner corner too. Why not? kind of want to pack it on a little bit more, so I'm taking it on a small pencil brush. This is my Crown SS020 Precision Crease. I'm just making sure to get that packed on really well in the inner corner. Nice. Now I think I'm going to do my brows real quick, and I'm going to use the Saucebox Cosmetics Eyeshadow in the color Moth. It is a medium tone gray, kind of dark, I don't know. I'm going to take that on my Essence, oh there's no name on this one, but it's the Essence Precise Liner Brush. And I think I'm going to go for the same shape that I did on the other two looks, the other two freckle looks, which is a very straight pointy brow. This gray is looking a lot darker than I thought it would on my brows. That's fine. The texture of this eyeshadow is a little too soft to do brows the way I like them. So I'm probably going to have to go in with another shadow to do the tip. But for now, I'm starting with this one. Oh my god, I'm so in love with this curl in particular. Look at how perfect it is. If only all my curls look like that. I know that if I didn't bleach my hair, my whole head would look like this. But because I do, and because I damage my hair so much my curls kind of don't hold up anymore. But I haven't bleached my hair in a really long time. That's why I think it's getting a little bit healthier now. And I'm okay with my roots. Like, I'm not mad at them. I used to hate having roots, but now I'm like, eh, I'd rather have healthy hair, you know? I'm just laughing because literally as I'm editing this video, this is happening. This. But I was forced into an intervention. This was not my own doing. So I blame Cece. And okay. Adam. You can thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to go in with the creepy cute tombstone on the ends of my brows, but I have a feeling it might be a little too soft as well. Hopefully. Oh no, that kind of works. Tombstone goes on slightly darker, so it's nice for defining the end of my brows. But I think I might still go in with a third color. Brows are a process, you guys. Okay, I'm going to go in with my trusty NYX eyeshadow in the color Raven, and this is what I usually use for my brows. It is a black eyeshadow, but it's not like super, super black. I never do my eyebrows, but when I do, I am really precise with the way I like them and the application. They turned out a little bit darker than what I wanted, but that's fine. I think. Is it fine? I don't know. They're pretty dark. We'll see. I can always come back to them later if need be. Now I think I'm going to finish doing my nose contour, which I didn't do. I'm going to use this color right here from the Ablaze palette, and I'm just going to lightly contour my nose to really accentuate that button shape, really making sure to have that defined line. And then under my nose too. Then I'm going to take the blush color and just kind of concentrate it even more around the sides. All right, now I've got a cute little button nose. I think I might use this highlighter color on the very tip just because it's pink and then right here at the bridge of my nose too. Just blending the green out a little bit more because the nose is very rosy. Just want to make sure 
the rosiness doesn't overpower the green. I still want the green to be the focus of everything. Now, if you watch my Instagram stories, you might have seen that I did a pretty big Sephora purchase recently. And one of the things I bought was the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. And the reason I actually bought this was so that I could do this type of look where I draw directly onto my face. And usually with other eyeliners, the tip picks up foundation and it gets really shitty after a while and I have to switch eyeliner pens throughout. So hopefully this one doesn't do that because I know that it's very liquidy and it's very pigmented, but I also know that it isn't a matte finish. So that might be an issue. I might have to powder it down afterwards, but I want to test it out anyway and see how it goes. I kind of pre-drew my little design onto a face chart, so I'm gonna be referencing that. I flipped it over so that I could be looking at the mirrored image to make things easier for me. And I think I'm gonna start, I'll start with this side. I'm gonna start with a little candy cane. This is my first time using this eyeliner, by the way. I've like tested it on the back of my hand, but I haven't actually used it before. So let's see how it goes. So far, it seems so good. Then I'm going to draw some holly. The tip doesn't seem to be picking up foundation. It doesn't seem to be getting muddy, so this is really good for stuff like this. I've always loved Christmas, but wait, I'm not gonna talk while I do this because I'm gonna write right now. I'm gonna do little ho-ho-hos. What I was going to say is that I've always liked Christmas, but it kind of has a special place in my heart now because Adam and I's first kiss was literally under the mistletoe at a Christmas party. So, kind of love it even more now. Oh, that is a big hoe. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to write it that big, but oh well. And then I'm also going to do some little stars. I'm going to be filling in this big star, and I'm also doing little black stars. Yeah, I kind of really like this liner for doing this type of work. Might do another yellow star up here. Nice. So that's the gist of it. Now I'm going to go in and line my eyes. I'm going to do a pretty flicked up cat eye. Hair, please get out of the way. Let's, let's try this baby out as an actual eyeliner. I typically don't like felt tip liners because they leave those little like bumps when you're trying to do a straight line, but this one's going on pretty nicely because the formula is more liquid than most formulas, I think. I'm also gonna bring that down to my lower lash line, just about like halfway. And then I'm going to connect those two corners so that I can do my wing. That's cute. Would I prefer if it were a brush applicator instead of a felt tip applicator? Yes, absolutely. But as far as felt tip applicators go, I think this is one of the best ones. From the ones I've tried anyway. And I like doing the inner corner with my eyes open because I find I can get a much thinner line that way. Why did I just do that? What the hell? Did you guys see that? What was that? Ugh. Let me try to fix this mess. What the hell? Taking some makeup remover on a Q-tip. Luckily, it is a pretty easy fix. Just gonna pat on some of the green. <sighs> okay, now the other eye. <laughs> Okay, both eyes done. I've thickened up the wing a little bit. I think it looks really cute, a little bit thicker. And now I'm gonna go do the other cheek and I'll be right back. Once that's all done, I'm gonna take the Suva Beauty Hydra Liner in the color Space Panda and I'm gonna start filling in the little candy canes. I'm so excited. I always love doing these looks. I always feel so cute. And I'm glad that this time I actually have somewhere to go wearing this look. I'm just very carefully Filling in the little candy cane. That's so cute. Eh, so excited. And if you go over the black line like this, just wait for the white to dry and then you can go and redraw the black after. I'm also gonna be giving myself little white freckles, but I think I'm gonna wait till I've colored in everything to see how everything looks to then place the freckles. While that dries, I'm going to be taking my Wolf face paint and I'll be using the red to fill in the holly. 
gonna be using the same brush I'm just cleaning it off first and this is just a paintbrush if you don't have face paint you could always use a liquid lipstick or a liquid liner to fill in these little shapes that is so cute sorry is it bad that I'm like my own hype man I don't know I just get really excited when a look is turning out the way I want it to thinking I'm gonna do a second layer of the white just in some areas where I think it could be a little bit more opaque and then I'm also using the white to do little reflexes on the holly. Oh, that's so cute. Once the white has dried, I'm going to go back in with the red so I can make little stripes on my candy canes. Oh my god. I have a feeling the candy canes are going to be my favorite part. How is that allowed to be this cute? Hmm. I love this, I love this, I love this. Now I'm gonna fill in the holly leaves with the Mayron Paradise paint in the color Amazon Green. And I'm going for a slightly darker green than my eyeshadow, just so there's a bit of a difference there. Feeling so festive right now. And one constant in all of these little festive freckle looks are these little stars that I fill in with the Mayron Paradise paint in the color Mango. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna go over the, I just hit myself in the nose. I'm gonna go over the black lines with the liner cause you can see I overlapped a little bit and I don't really want that. I think while I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do my little white freckles. I don't know, it might just be me, but I just wanna contour my nose a tiny bit more before I dry in the freckles. So I'm just perfecting that contour a little bit. So I'm just gonna take the Hydra liner again, and these little white freckles are supposed to look kind of like snowfall. So I'm just gonna dot them in varying sizes, but I want them to be very round. And on my nose as well. I didn't do these little freckles on the other festive freckled looks, but I thought it would be a really nice touch because of white Christmas and snow and all that. And I'm kind of glad I decided to do it because I'm obsessed. I'm sorry, I know that I like my own look, but I'm obsessed, okay? Okay. Now that the little freckles are done, I'm just gonna go in and fix the little black lines that need fixing. So I'm gonna do my lips before I finish off my eyes, and I'm going to take the blush color on a fluffy brush, and I'm going to apply it under my bottom lip. Then I'm going to take the color take a hint and apply that on my outer corners just want a little hint of it now i'm going to be taking the nyx liquid suede lipstick in the color kitten heels and this is a very bright kind of orangey red that has the intensity that i want for this look that seems a little too bright blotting it off I'm gonna try a darker outline. I'm gonna try going in with the Ink of Elation Maraschino on the outer edges. It's a little bit deeper, but still bright enough. Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit better. Okay, this combo is stunning. Whenever I do a red lip, I like to do a really arched cupid's bow. That just makes it look really timeless and really classic. To finish off my eyes, I wanted to use my NYX Milk Pencil, but I couldn't find it, so I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the color All Around White. And apply that on my waterline. Ugh, that doesn't even compare to the NYX one. Hold on, I'm going to... I have to go find it. Adam's taking a shower, so I apologize if you can hear that, but I finally found my Milk Pencil, rather the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk, and I'm going to use that in my waterline. Yeah, see, look at the difference. This is very truly white. Now I'm gonna go in with some mascara and I'm going to use the Hourglass Caution Mascara. I really like this one for the lower lashes. It makes them look really doll-like. So that's why I'm going ah, for this one. Okay, you know what? I might actually pin my hair up because I don't want the mascara getting all over it. This one's got a really thick and black volumizing formula. It is really, really dark black, like true black. So if you're looking for a really good dark mascara, 
this is a good one. And it is 100% transfer proof, or so they claim. It's pretty much a waterproof mascara. Even though they don't call it waterproof, they call it transfer proof because it doesn't like smudge on the bottom. But it wears really comfortably too. I have really sensitive eyes and this one doesn't irritate my eyes. For fake lashes, as with the other looks, I'm going to be using the Elevation Lashes in the style Freedom 9 for my bottom lashes. I'm going to be using three little clusters. And then for the top lashes, I'm going to be using the Rouge and Rogue Slayer Lashes. And I'm applying them with the House of Lashes Clear Glue. So I'm going to place one little cluster right in the middle. And then one off to the side. One on the other side. And this is the finished look. I kind of like what my hair is doing right now, so I might not put on a wig. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's never this curly, so I'm just happy that it's so curly. Feeling v cute right now. So yeah, I know that some of you were asking for Christmas looks that weren't Nightmare Before Christmas, and I'm sorry it's taken this long to put one out, but I've just been really busy. But there will be more coming up. So don't worry. I really hope you guys like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. You can't see my pom-pom. Anyway, it's here. <laughs>